All right, y'all. I'm on a roll today, so I got to get this off my chest before I forget. The ancestors just, they making me this, forcing me to do this. I hate talking about it over and over again, but I don't think that a lot of people realize why the internet was created, all right? And population control does not just mean getting rid of, you know, a certain amount of the population that is on the planet. It also means control. Like, they're literally, you know what I'm saying, trying to control the population that still remains. I think that people really think that slavery ended when the chains came off, but they didn't understand that mental slavery was just introduced once the chains came off, but slavery never ended. And it, it, it enslaved a lot more than just, you know, melanated people. Now, I don't believe that slavery happened like they said it did in the first place, but that's a whole nother video for, and a whole nother topic. All I'm saying is there's a new form of slavery that's about to be introduced, and it's called digital slavery, all right? They've already been working on it for the past 20, 30 years. That's why they brought the internet in on the scene. I remember before, I like, I literally remember the internet evolving and, be, and becoming something, coming into fruition. Because when I was younger, yeah, we had computers, um, but we didn't have the internet. The internet wasn't around when I was first born. So I've literally seen mm -hmm. technology and media do the, the wham bam, you feel me, on, on society. I seen how it's transitioned. I seen how it's kept come up. But you gotta understand that over the past 20, 30 years since the internet's been in existence, it's been collecting data on you. You feel me? Everything about you, it knows. It knows everything. Your location, the phones, you know, they track you, they record you. Um, not only audio, video. Um, if those people want to find you or anything like that, they know exactly where you where you're at. There are no no unsolved mysteries. There is no unsolved kidnappings. There's no unsolved murder. They just don't want to solve them because they choose not to. But I believe they have everything, every piece of information about you. All the pictures you ever took. They know where you took it, man. If you go on your Google account, you got Google, you go on Google account, press it, just go on your Google photos and tap on a picture. If you scroll all the way down underneath that, you'll see the exact location where you took that picture at, what day you took that picture, what time you took that picture. I don't care how old that picture is. I got pictures that come up from 10 years ago and tell me exactly where I was at when I took that picture. Now, you think that they don't keep track of that information? Come on now, why in the hell would Google be? It's not to inform me because I don't care where I was at when I took that picture or what day it was. It's not that important to me, but it's very important to them. They know your kids. They know your social security information. They know all your credit card information. They know your address. They know your job. They know what day you get paid. That's how the algorithms are able to produce ads and things in front of you that appeal to your liking. Because they know that you're going to buy this. They know you're going to buy that. Once you start showing signs of interest in something, it keeps feeding you that. So just understand that they've been tracking and they're going to continue to do it in a way more heavier way.